a shoe unboxing for you as promised. Sorry about the lighting today, I have lost light even though it's only kind of early to late afternoon so and it's also kind of cloudy and grey outside so I have lost light um, a little bit today but I don't think you need it too much for the shoes that I'm going to show you. I started lusting after these shoes after I started watching Lulu Trixabelle's channel and I'll leave her link down below I think that's her channel name. Um, I'll leave her link down below for you guys. And she's amazing. She's a Jeffrey Campbell nut, just like me. Um, and yes, I started lasting after them after I saw them on her. I had seen them before, but I'd never seen them kind of like properly styled and everything like that. Yeah, I just kind of fell in love with them. And I started searching everywhere, but they were just sold out. And I think they are still sold out pretty much everywhere. Um, unless you want like massively glittery ones or something like that. But I really wanted the black just the plain black ones and um, so this is the first pair of Jeffrey Campbell shoes I've bought on eBay I think and um, they are in fact an American seller. I kind of checked their reviews and everything like that and they seemed like a legitimate kind of seller and um, they have indeed sent me genuine Jeffrey Campbell shoes so if I can remember or find the seller I will put them down below for you guys so you guys can go check them out as well if you're lusting after these particular shoes. They came in Jeffrey Campbell box like this one, um, a good way of telling if they're genuine is if they come in one of these boxes. They should not only um, be decorated on the outside but they should have um, details and stuff on the inside as well if they are real Jeffrey Campbells and also they tend to have some kind of thing like this and as you can see I got the Lana, where is it, there it is. And for those of you who haven't seen the Lana before, they look like this. Ooh, I almost hit myself with them. And um, they are often described as kind of the baby sister of the Lita because you can see they're really quite similar. In fact, I need to go get a Lita so I can compare the two. They are very similar from the front at least to the Lita, but there are some obvious main differences between the Lana and the Lita. And I've got my mint Litas here to show you. Sorry, I'm trying to get comfy on this bed. <laughs> These are the two together and they're about the same height I think, if anything the Lana is ever so slightly taller but not by much, hang on let me try and get them, yeah I think they're pretty much the same. The heel obviously is one of the main differences, um, the Lana has a curved heel and I think the nice thing about the Lana it is like the kind of funkier, younger version of the leaf. It's also got this kind of stacked detailing as well and I think that's true of all the Lana. I think it just kind of looks really cool, um, especially when you see them on. Another of the main obvious um, differences between the two of them are is the ankle cutout or the heel cutout even and I think this is so cool. When you see them on it looks like much better. Um, I just love the way it looks. It just Oh, they're just such cool shoes. I think they're really like un more of a kind of understated cool compared to some Jeffrey Campbells, I think. And they've all obviously also got this kind of Doc Martens-esque um, pull-on thing here. Another difference between the two of them is that Lana's have um, zips, uh, which makes them super easy to get on and off. And um, you don't have to keep undoing the laces and reading the laces up so I think that's a really nice feature actually I use that a lot I don't undo these when I'm wearing them um, a difference that isn't so obvious is actually the front of them you can see or will you be able to see but you can see that the Lana's are um, slightly pointed which I didn't expect when they arrived but um, obviously I noticed when they arrived they're more pointed than the Lita so that's another difference between the two of them you can tell these are genuine again just from the um, heel, the, the kind of sole bit, um, has the, all of the normal Jeffrey Campbell bits um, on it. Something to note on Jeffrey Campbell's as well, um, another thing where you can generally tell that they're real is that they'll have this inner bit here and it'll say the style of the shoe, so as you can see it says Lana there um, and it just says real leather and all that kind of jazz. That might not be the case of absolutely all Jeffrey Campbell's but it is a nice way to check that they are genuine. One thing about buying from eBay that was different from um, kind of buying from a normal website, so let me do these up, um, is that they came ever so slightly like the, the tissue hadn't been packed in them properly. So if you can see they're sort of like flattened out a little bit. 
Um, but that's not an issue when they're on, obviously, because they just mold to the shape of your ankle. And I'm sure the more I wear them, the more they'll kind of change back to their original shape. Um, so yes, that is that was the only issue I found when they arrived. I got mine in a 7.5, and that is nothing to do with how they kind of come up sizing wise. I would go for your normal um, size in um, American shoes or Jeffrey Campbell shoes, because I'm usually a size eight. Um, I went for a 7.5 because they didn't have an eight in stock. It's certainly not a big issue you having a size 7.5 instead of an 8 I tend to find that I can go down half a size and up half a size in Jeffrey Campbell shoes without too much too many issues um, it's only like they do cut cut into your ankle a little tiny bit here um, if they're a size a half size down but I don't think that would be an issue if they were your kind of normal size in terms of other kind of comfort wearing them and walking in them I wore them all day the other day and you can see they're nice and flat um, for your foot I even think or are they about the same I think they're about the same as the liters so they're just as comfortable as the liters um, easy to walk in um, as usual with a Jeffrey Campbell shoe I just think these are really actually quite practical um, and if you wanted something different from the liters and you can find a pair of Lana's on eBay or something like that then I would definitely recommend them because they're not as common as the liters but um, they're quite a similar type of shoe um, obviously with the ankle cut out they're slightly less kind of practical for winter but um, you could also wear like a funky pair of socks why am I saying funky so much today? instead and kind of have that as a detailing of your outfit kind of thing so yes I really really like these I like these even more than I thought I would I can't remember exactly how much I paid for them on eBay but it wasn't that much different from what I would pay on a normal American site you know if they're sold out everywhere then um, you aren't gonna be paying for you know bargainous pair of Jeffrey Campbell's like you will like liters or foxies or something which you can find pretty much everywhere on eBay so I'm gonna show them to you on now and I really hope that you enjoyed this shoe unboxing. Bye guys. <laughs>